anti-cancer foods which are the best and lower the risk cancer kills almost 10 million people every year around the world an unhealthy diet would be the third cause of cancer occurrence after tobacco and pollution conversely a healthy diet rich in vitamins fibers and antioxidants could limit the appearance of many cancers what is the role of diet in cancer Many studies have shown the role of a balanced and healthy diet in cancer prevention. It can thus be said that a diversified and varied diet, rich in fresh and unprocessed foods, preferably of plant origin and rich in fiber, makes it possible to limit the risk of the appearance of cancer. Fruits, vegetables, pulses and whole grains are thus at the top of the list of health foods. What are the best fruits and vegetables? First of all, it is important to stress the importance of the diversity of foods consumed. Each fruit and each vegetable brings its own set of vitamins, minerals and antioxidants. It is therefore by varying your menus as much as possible that you have the best chance of meeting all your needs and not suffering from deficiencies. For example, we can ensure that the plate is as colorful as possible, each pigment having a specific health property lycopene in tomatoes, beta-carotene in carrots, mango or melon, glucosinolates in green vegetables, etc. While all fruits and vegetables are undeniably healthy and helpful in preventing cancer, some have more nutrient density than others, making them better allies against cancer. Among them we find berries, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, currants, goji, acai, cranberries, etc. These colorful berries shine with their content of antioxidant polyphenols, essential in cancer prevention. Antioxidants make it possible to fight against the effects of oxidative stress on cells, responsible for certain diseases linked to aging, such as many cancers. Cabbages, cauliflower, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, kale. These foods from the cruciferous family are rich in glucosinates, compounds known for their anti-cancer effects. A 2013 Chinese study notably demonstrates the preventive effect of cabbages on colon cancer, one of the deadliest in the world. Citrus fruits, orange, grapefruit, lemon, particularly rich in vitamin C, the antioxidant vitamin par excellence, citrus fruits are excellent anti-cancer fruits. A Dutch study from 2011 notably highlights the protective effect of citrus fruits on stomach and esophageal cancers. Onion and garlic. They belong to the Aliaceae family, known for their richness in flavonoids and sulfur compounds. This family of foods has the ability to slow the onset of cancer and limit the growth of tumors. A recent study from 2019 shows an inverse association between the consumption of garlic and onion, and the appearance of breast cancer. Which meets to favor? In 2015, the IARC, International Cancer Research Center, warned of the dangers of heavy consumption of red meat and cold meats. Beef, mutton, lamb but also pork and veal are considered red meats and should therefore be limited to stay healthy. Only poultry are not concerned and should therefore be favored as part of an anti-cancer diet. Which fish to favor? On the fish side, the problem is different. Their flesh is naturally devoid of carcinogenic compounds, and even the most fatty fish are good for health. Be careful, however, Larger fish, placed at the top of the food chain, are more likely to be contaminated by heavy metals that accumulate in their flesh. We therefore limit our consumption of tuna and salmon and favor hake, pollock, cod, shrimps, oysters and sea urchins. What are the best oils? If all vegetable oils are good for health because they are rich in unsaturated fats and antioxidants, olive oil seems to stand out for its anti-cancer qualities. The oleocanthal, OC, it contains as a polyphenol with antioxidant properties, which has the ability to very effectively inhibit the proliferation of cancer cells. But vegetable oils are not the only ones recommended for health. Indeed, according to a 2018 study, fish oils, rich in DHA, docosahexaenoic acid, from the omega-3 family, help fight breast cancer by reducing the growth of breast tumors. What spices to consume? Turmeric. This golden yellow spice is renowned for its anti-cancer action, which comes from an observation of epidemiological data according to which countries consuming turmeric are less affected by certain cancers. Several studies, one and two, have looked at the effects of this spice on cancer, 
and have demonstrated its chemopreventive and chemotherapeutic actions. Ginger. Strongly antioxidant, ginger is also known as a therapeutic agent for cancer, and more particularly for prostate cancer. It is the gingerol it contains and which gives it its pungent taste, which would be responsible for its effect on cancer, 1 and 2. Pepper. Black pepper, alone but even more when combined with turmeric would be very effective in prevention but also in treatment of certain cancers. This action would be largely attributable to piperin, an alkaloid active compound, which it contains in large quantities. Foods to avoid during cancer. While there are therefore many foods with anti-cancer properties, others, on the contrary, promote the risk of certain cancers occurring and accelerate their development. Alcohol. Classified as carcinogenic, alcohol is responsible for 78,000 new cancers each year in United States. The ethanol it contains is transformed in the body into carcinogenic compounds. It is therefore recommended to limit your alcohol consumption to 10 drinks per week. Ultra-processed foods. Biscuits, sausages, nuggets, crisps, pizza, breakfast cereals. Ultra-processed foods populate the shelves of our supermarkets. A large prospective cohort published in 2018 found that consumption of these foods was correlated with a higher cancer risk. We therefore rehabilitate fresh products and limit these commercial foods as much as possible. Sugar. Consuming sugar promotes tumor growth, which simply means that cancer feeds on sugar. It is the refined sugars which are incriminated. Table sugar, confectionery, cakes, cookies. It is therefore important to limit their consumption, in prevention of cancer, but especially for people already affected, in order not to accelerate its progression. High temperature cooking. As soon as the food is cooked at a very high temperature and blackened by heat, it develops harmful carcinogenic components. Long-term barbecue, frying, grilling or roasting should therefore be limited so as not to increase the risk of cancer. Gentle cooking is preferred steam or all controlled cooking which does not result in the charring of the food please subscribe and share thank you